<laughs> dog, if they make this fight. But let me tell y'all, that's how me and Bo Mac talk to each other. I, I, we have no regards for social decorum when Bo Mac and I talk to each other. Bo Mac can't wait to text me. He can't wait to text me after the Spence Crawford fight if they win. Oh man, me and Bo Mac go back and forth in the text a couple times a year. And it is what it is, man. But at the end of the day, I'll say this. Terrence Crawford deserves that fight. Earl Spence deserves that fight. And we the fans, we the people, deserve the fight. For the first time in a long time that I can remember, the fans and the fighters are in the exact same place. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. Fans don't want to spend money here. Fighters don't want to take fighters there because they don't want to lose the opportunity for greatness and or a gigantic payday. And now it's up to one man. It's up to one man. His name is Alan Heyman. He got to make that deal. And I get on Alf, all the shit because, but at the end of the day, I just want the fights, dog. That's it. I just want the fights. I can't wait to talk shit to Bomac. It's impossible for me not to be. I'm either I'm either gonna be at that fight or throw the biggest party, boxing party ever. If y'all miss my Super Bowl parties, oh my I, I threw the best Super Bowl parties. I just want y'all to know that. But at the end of the day, if that fight is made, or I'm not when that fight is made, we gonna make history. Bomac, I don't know if you can do it, dog. I don't know if you can do it. Terrence, I don't know if you can take that body, but I, I know me and Terrence, y'all get it misconstrued. No apologies needed between me. We don't have to get along, but I, I genuinely believe Terrence Crawford deserves a fight. I believe he's the second best welterweight in the world, um, and uh, that's how it shall remain. Um, and um, sometime in the summer, everybody start looking at the dates when the Dallas Cowboys are away. And everybody started looking at dates when the Raiders are away because it's got to be it, 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 those are the only two places the fight can be, you know what I mean? So whenever they're away, Crawford and Spence come to play. <laughs> Barbershop Kyle, I see y'all tonight. Tonight is gonna be an epic show. Tonight is gonna be a fun show. We gonna rock out. Everybody in boxing is gonna be in the shop tonight. No big deal. Have come talk your shit, Terrence Crawford fans. Terrence Crawford fans, can you hear? What Frederick Hawthorne is cooking? <laughs> I can't wait. Bo Mac, I'm going to be texting your ass. As soon as this fight is signed, I'm going to be texting your ass every day. Every day. Every day to the point where you're going to block me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me and Bo Mac go back and forth, man. We, we, don't, we don't have this uh, polite relationship. Bo Mac can text me whatever the hell he want, and I can text Bo Mac whatever he want, and I can say whatever I want. So y'all just enjoy this enjoy text messaging to promote the fight so these gentlemen can make more money. That's all it is. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversation. Congratulations to Earl Spence. Congratulations to Terrence Crawford. You just fell upon a windfall. Terrence Crawford, don't let them give you Keith Thurman. Don't fall for the pump fake and the okie doke, this two-fight deal. Nah, nah, nah. No, Al. Al, we ready. Fans are ready. Spence is ready. Crawford's ready. We ready. Rest in peace to that young king. And uh, give Keith Thurman blew his opportunity, dog. Keith Thurman blew his opportunity. It's over for him. Keith Thurman is a fan now. He fights once every 18 months. Allow him to do that. You know what I mean? Don't. He doesn't deserve nothing. It's all about Spence Crawford and the fans right now. Al Heyman, give us this fight. Period. It's no excuses you can give us. Give us this fight. And we will be, it's because it's, it's supposed to happen. We got Bob Arum out the way, right? Y'all, Bob Arum is the problem. He gone now. <laughs> My best friend, Bob. <laughs> Barbershop conversations, man. I love y'all. And uh, happy Easter if y'all celebrate that. Happy Ramadan. And uh, uh, just happy being a boxing fan. It just feels great being a boxing fan. Uh, this video is two minutes longer than I thought it would be. I'm gone, y'all. Peace. And don't forget, checks and balances, May 19th, y'all. I need that support. May 19th. Click the link in my bio. Click the link in my bio, man. And uh, um, it's definitely just like last night was the performance of the year. 
May 19th, checks and balances, 100% film of the year. Gone.